Uh, welcome, this is Scott and I'm going to demonstrate my iPad digital audio receiver. It's this box here that I put together. It is an amplifier and a few other custom gizmos so that I can get audio from my iPad to my speakers. So let me turn it on. Turn on the iPad. See right now we're getting sound out of the iPad itself. We can easily change these speakers over to bedroom speakers and now we got the sound coming out of the amplifier Crank it up a bit so it makes this uh, amplifier unique is uh, some of the stuff I put in it and for example here we have a couple of uh, Russian IN13 Nixie tube uh, VU meters because I like to uh, have a visualizer of the sound. It's also uh, internet activated, so I can uh, I can use the web browser. Moment loading up the website. So there, I've got the web browser loaded up over here and I can turn the amplifier off remotely. I can turn the amplifier on remotely. And I used a uh, motor pot so we can actually change the volume remotely. Set it back down lower. And that is it. So currently these three buttons I'm not using for anything yet. This is the on off switch. Now one of the other things that was important to me is that the uh, power usage is low. So here we have it hooked up to a kilowatt. You probably can't see it down there, but it's only pulling 15, uh, 15 watts while running. And standby current is only about uh, 5 watts. It's still kind of high, but there's actually a little uh, Ethernet music server inside that has to be running. So, uh, that is it. Take a quick look inside. So this uh, project is unique. Let me turn it down a little bit. In that a lot of the stuff I have not built myself, but had to get from outside sources. So in the middle here we have a uh, mini amp, mini DSP, and mini digi stack. This is the amplifier. It's a custom uh, digital amplifier. It has a number of. Uh, inputs. One of them is uh, fiber optic Toslink. It's actually got a couple of those and a couple of coaxials. Drives the speakers and it's being fed by this uh, Apple Airport Express. That is the gizmo that's getting the actual music into the amp. So we've got a little uh, short fiber optic cable between them. Ethernet feeding in the back. Over here we have a couple of driver boards for the IN13 uh, Nixie tube displays. Uh, these actually came from a, uh, a guy in France, I believe, the circuit boards, and I assembled them from his instructions. They work very well. I'll put details on how you can get yourself a couple of those boards up on the uh, website when I do a write-up. It's got a uh, special little chip in here someplace that is responsible for doing the uh, log logarithmic computations to do the VU meter accurately. So the nice thing about this is it's a continuous analog display. It's not your typical bunch of LEDs. This is actually a vacuum tube continuous from one end to the other. Um, over here we have an Alps motor pot. Motor pot being a potentiometer with a motor mounted onto the back of it got that off eBay and I had to design a little custom uh, breakout board down there when it's uh, wired up. 
The uh, brains of the thing is this parallax uh, propeller circuit board. This is one of my standard boards that I designed in this case for a clock project. And uh, I used it over for this. It has a built in Ethernet interface that's used for control. So we've got two Ethernets one Ethernet feeding the Airport Express, the other Ethernet feeding the, uh, the propeller board. The propeller board has this little uh, cobbled together. H bridge that's used to drive the motor in the motor pot. Also has an A to D converter for reading the motor pot. That allows me to seek the motor pot to any preset that I want. Also reads the uh, four switches up there. And then for power, we have this uh, 24 volt power supply. I think it came from uh, Jameco. It's used to uh, power the uh, the amplifier. The amplifier takes a, a bit of current, needs several amps. And there's a little relay here. The relay is uh, controlled by the propeller to turn the uh, power on and off going to the amplifier. The uh, driver boards here for the IN13 displays needed to have uh, plus and minus 15 volts DC. So there's a little uh, DC DC converter board here which takes our 24 volts and converts it to plus minus 15. Now what you're not seeing on here is there's a each one of these uh, driver boards has a switching power supply that generates like about 150 volts to run those two vacuum tubes. That's quite a bit of power. Uh, I think that's about all there is to show inside of this thing. Let me crank up the uh, the uh, potentiometer and give us some volume again. How about a little bit more? and shut off the light. And there we got it, so you can get a pretty good look at the, the BU display operating.